Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first Patch Tuesday updates starting to roll out for this year, 2023. And for Windows 10, the update is KB5022A2, which Microsoft started making available on the 10th of January. Now the update is rolling out for Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2 and 20H2. And in case you're unaware, all editions of Windows 10 version 21H1 reached their end of service on the 13th of December last year. So Windows 10 version 21H1 is no longer supported and will no longer receive any more security or quality updates. So it is important if you are still running 21H1 to upgrade to a newer version. Now, um, the Patch Tuesday updates, also known as B-Release updates, um, roll out on the second Tuesday of every month and they will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your uh, device. And for Windows 10, uh, the, cumulative up the cumulative update is KB50282 as mentioned and brings important security fixes to the Windows 10 operating system for this month. Now, over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, uh, because um, Microsoft didn't roll out a C-release bug fix optional update near the end of December um, last year, and that was because of the holidays, um, Microsoft um, has made three important bug fixes available with this latest update. And um, the first, I think, will make quite a few uh, Windows 10 users happy. And they fixed the startup issue that was causing the dreaded blue screen of death with the error 0xc000021a, which I actually did post on a couple of weeks ago. And that was after installing the December Patch Tuesday update, which was this update, KB5021233 for Windows 10. So if you were getting that blue screen of death and the error uh, 0xc000021a, then our latest Patch Tuesday update for uh, January addresses that issue. So as mentioned, uh, that should um, make a lot of Windows 10 users happy. Now, um, just carrying on with the bug fixes, they've also resolved um, the open database connectivity SQL server driver issue that could cause um, connections to fail. So that's another important bug fix. And then the third and final fix that's rolled out, uh, they also fixed an issue in the local session manager that could allow users to perform actions that only admins, administrators could do and perform. So three important fixes rolling out. And as mentioned, that error uh, with the blue screen of death caused by the December update has now finally been addressed. Now, just to take a quick look at the all important security updates, because at the heart of this update, it is a security fix. And for Windows 10, 22H2 and 21H2, the update addresses 63 vulnerabilities in total. So this is an important security update. And over and above uh, fixing 63 vulnerabilities, 10 of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And there's also a zero day that's already exploited in the wild, which is CVE 20232174. So if there is a zero day and it's already exploited in the wild, it means it's currently out there and it's happening and it's active. So important to get your operating system updated sooner than later to address that important security issue. And then um, just getting back to the critical vulnerabilities, most of those are remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system remotely over a network or the internet. And then there's also a couple of elevation of privilege vulnerabilities. And if we just head over quickly uh, to Winver about Windows, uh, once this update has been applied, if you are running Windows 10 version 22H2, which is the latest stable release of Windows 10, the OS build will be now bumped up to 19045.2486. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.